Hi. Hi, I'm everyone. Carol. I am Tracy. I'm Carol. And we are from mypurgatory.com. Now, you might know us as the My Outlander Purgatory Girls because we are um, kind of obsessed with the Outlander book series and have made like 7,000 videos of us basically going like, oh my god, we love it. Oh my god, Jamie's so hot. Oh my god, we love that. Oh my god, uh-huh. pour me another glass of wine. <laughs> pour me another glass of wine. <laughs> oh, that's why I can talk about my sugar-free margaritas, but all right, we'll get to that. Um, Just water, I swear. But anyway, I don't have anything. I know, I don't have a beverage at all. This you need a beverage. I had a glass of wine hydrated. with my dinner. Does that count? Um, yeah. Um, so anyway, we were just like, you know, we just kind of like like to talk and kind of shoot the shit about whatever anyway. So why don't we like once in a while just make a video that doesn't necessarily have to do with Outlander, but talks about other stuff that we like so that if you like us, you can watch it. But if you like Outlander and hate us, um, we probably won't talk too much about Outlander here. So just be forewarned. But right. if you like us, get ready, because we're totally here. Well, it's also possible that people are watching the same things we're watching and reading the same things we're reading, yes, too. that's true. If you're an Outlander fan, chances are you like the same things we do. I just thought of the other thing that I wanted to discuss. Well, start with it, then. Lead with it. So let me just say, this whole thing with Purgatory started with Twilight, because I read Twilight, and while I was reading New Moon, I said, I've got to talk to somebody about this, and I was driving everybody crazy, so I said, I'm just going to blog. So I have to give it its due. Mm -hmm. So there's Twilight now. There's been Outlander. There's been the Bronze Horseman. There's been Discovery of Witches. And there's been Monarch of the Glen, the TV show. So uh, today I went back to my Twilight roots. And I found a picture. Um, I think I was just trying to see the release date for Breaking Dawn. But you have to, Carol, you should should tell everyone that you're not looking at any Breaking Dawn things. Oh, yeah. I'm not. I haven't looked at anything. I've looked at everything. Here's the problem. New Moon came along, and I looked at every single thing there was. I'm not, I didn't even see that. I'm not looking at you, Tracy. I looked at every single thing there was, and when I finally went to see the film, I didn't like any of it. Like, I shouldn't say I didn't like it, but I knew it all already. So it, nothing was a surprise. Eclipse, I kind of did it. I kind of didn't. It depended. Eclipse, they were better at keeping stuff hidden. <clears throat> um, thank you, David Slade. So, long story short, I said, Breaking Dawn, I'm not looking at a thing. And people are like, but you have a Twilight blog. And I was like, I know, that's the funniest (laughs) thing. So the Twilight blog's almost been on hiatus. Every once in a while I post something. Well, I'll tell you right now what's going on tomorrow. I came across this picture uh, today and had to howl when I saw it. Can you see it, Tracy? Yes, I can see it. Okay. Uh, I've just, uh, can I make the, the um, observation that I just made two seconds ago? Yes. Um, I'm looking at it from, from sort of far away, and it's very small. And at first glance, Edward's look, Edward looks like um, Alice from the Brady Bunch, like in the maid's <laughs> uniform. <laughs> Is it the like, color? <laughs> Is it the color of his shirt? It's the color of his shirt and the color of his hair and the height of his hair. And now all I can hear is, doesn't he own a shirt? <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right, let's, I, this is, I don't even know where to start with this picture. Okay, first of all, the first thing, obviously, that drew my attention. Can you see me circling this with my um, cursor? Or is it Just so far barely. away? barely. Okay. Yeah. But is you're circling Bella, Bella, right? Bella, Bella, I think, looks good. Bella, uh, Kristen Stewart, looks great. Mind you, I'm not picking on the actors. I am, I am merely <laughs> talking about them in character in their costumes for their characters, okay? First of all, um, poor Bella, like, she went from, like, flannels and her hair back to, like, um, I would call this um, pretty much beauty pageant chic. What do you think? Yeah, pretty much. The hair is so huge. Now, I'm going to assume that a lot of that is her hair these days, except for all of this extension happening down here. Mm, But she's the... They obviously, P.S., if you've never read Breaking Dawn, then you don't want to watch this because it's going to be full of spoilers. Clearly, she's all vamped up right now, okay? She's all, I'm, I'm a cullen well, now. All right, but, so how much have you, you haven't seen any of the spoilers, right? Or any of the... Anything, I don't want to hear anything. Let me just continue on my merry little way. Okay, then we have um, uh, Jacob here, who looks to me like he's going to audition for... Um, the new remake season of um, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. 
Because look at him. Doesn't he look like, what was my the guy I loved on that show? Kyan? Oh, Kyan. I was thinking about that show the other day. I missed that show. I was thinking Oh, dear about God. It. I missed that show. Like, I you couldn't. that show. Like, I need Carson to come to my house and come in my closet big time. I need him to do my basement. My and, and like, crafty. sometimes you're like washing your face and you're like, oh, Kyan would tell me I'm scrubbing my too hard. basement, let me just tell you about my basement. If Jamie Fraser had to choose between Wentworth or my basement, he'd be like, yeah, you know what? I have to sleep on that because I really don't know. <laughs> That's how bad my basement is. Continue. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's move it along. Okay. okay. Then we get to Alice over here who looks to me like Shirley Jones. Shirley oh, Jones. She does with- sort of have a, a Shirley Jones. Actually, from this vantage point, she has a Joyce DeWitt. Circa Joyce DeWitt, that season is four of Three's Company. Yes, she looks like Joyce DeWitt. That is awesome. And and nothing against her, but she's looking almost like she won with the with the vampire baby. And okay. I can say, you know, I read something the other day that where they're, they're like, she feels like she finally got the wig right. I'm like, no, she didn't. No. no. Uh-uh. We're supposed to flip. <laughs> you try it. Okay. okay, then we get back here to Jackson Rathbone. My first question is, Jackson, why so angry? Look at his face. He looks so angry. He looks so pissed off about something. Maybe it's the fact that he's he's sporting Vidal Sassoon chic, it, with the hair and the and the scarf. <coughs> then we have poor Carlisle Cullen. Back here. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I believe here we go again with Where's Waldo? <laughs> Where's Carlisle? Because, is that Carlisle or is that the neighbor? Like. Just showing up asking for some milk well, because Carol, I don't you know I, what happens in Breaking Dawn. He's too busy um, um, putting together an army of vampires. Here's Carla back here, but we need another army of vampires. <laughs> so then we're going to jump over here. I think I'm going to leave these guys alone. Emmett looks great. Emmett um, does look great. Team Emmett. Team Rosalie Emmett. looks like Rosalie. She never changes. Then we have Edward. <laughs> I, I don't really know what's happening. He's clearly na, ju- na, He's as angry na, as. Na, na, na. This, is the, <laughs> this is the minor key Brady Bunch music. He is. It looks to me like he is almost as angry as Jasper over there, and I don't know why. Um, he's maybe he's angry because he looks like um, Alice from the Brady Bunch. I really I don't know, but as I said to you guys, it's clearly not going to be the. Oh, what did I call it? <laughs> you might have to say this one. Um, the Water for Elephants uh, eye candy <laughs> tw- or eye candy fest. Maybe he's mad that Bella is not wearing plaid anymore. Maybe he did not like a cleaned up, washed up, oh, come on, oh, up Bella. Hair. Maybe he's mad that her hair is two inches off the top of her he- head. I don't know. <laughs> but he's angry about something. Uh, you'd think he'd be happy now that she's all changed, but no. Angry. All right, anyway. So, uh, I think it's time to switch to. back. What'd you say? Come back to your photo. All right. Hopefully you will come back. Let's see. Let's okay. See. There we go. All the right. Next thing that I wanted to discuss. Okay. Yes. Ooh. And now you somehow ended up over me. Okay. Uh, so who sent us this awesome website, uh, this Laney gossip site today? Um, oh wait, the one where with ace cars and somebody from my Atlanta purgatory sent us this, um, Lenny gossips, an awesome gossip site. If you're into that sort of thing, which, you know, we're not. We are. <laughs> um, so it's all about, uh, Alexander Skarsgård. Okay. Uh, if you are true blood fans, you have come to the right place. Have they not Tracy? Oh, Basically so they're poor. talking about how after all the cons and stuff, after like comic con and, and, um, um, conventions, festivals, all this kind of stuff. They have like these great parties afterward. And they say that later on, Tracy, did you read this? Cause you look perplexed. You look like Edward and Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, is this, is this, did we get this from the tweet from Justa Jones? Six? She sent the Jamie. link from Jamie, to this right? page on Laney Glossop that shows that picture of the guy that she thought looked like Jamie Frazier. Right. I didn't really read the article. I just, okay. I didn't get past the like, Probably. Amazingness that, that was your problem. Alexander Skarsgård and Jamie Lannister. Yes. Okay. The article is basically saying that so they have these after parties and how in saunters Alexander Skarsgård like after hours and she you know, said he's he was, all single and young and single and ready to mingle now. <laughs> Hello, goodbye, Kate Bosworth. Hello. Well, speaking of Kate Bosworth, which I am not here to gossip about her because I love Kate Bosworth. She's adorable. I'm not sure so, I would know her if I fell over her. I don't oh, you so would. 
a movie. So it her. says that she, you know why you would know her? Because you wouldn't know her because she's not in the press a lot. She's just so uh, apple pie cute. She's well, adorable. she's not going to be now that she's not with him anymore. What do you mean she's not with him anymore? You didn't know Did that? You... Hello? <gasps> that's what the whole article is about. They broke up. No, that's not what the whole, how do you know when you haven't read it? Because I just assume that it is because like, okay, if I <laughs> what go on, with this? if I go on um, my Google with people magazine.com, oh, it's not on here anymore, but um, yes, they broke up. They That's broke Blake up. and Leo and that was false. Okay. So anyway, so listen, so Kate Bosworth wasn't around, it says. Because but, they broke up. See, this is what I wanted to talk about. Guess who was that he was chit-chatting up for a while and it says that they weren't like in the corner the Khaleesi, like, the Khaleesi. yes <laughs> so you did read no. it <clears throat> I did read it a little bit but I had to because I had to figure out who the girl was and in fact I said to John like I brought him over my the DH right um because we both watched Game of Thrones and I was like okay who is this and he's like um um Rachel McAdams and I'm like no Rachel McAdams <laughs> guessing at any guest a couple other ones and I was like it's the Khaleesi and he's like oh yeah but can you imagine this is what I wanted to say walking into a room and seeing of course I'm picturing her all done up in her um you know what are they called the um done up in like nothing which is pretty much what she I keep wearing. hearing Paul Drago what 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 is she they're the people the on Game of Thrones what no, are their I, I don't remember what the tribe is what called he's, what his, yeah. So, but can't you imagine her, like, walking in and seeing her talking to Alexander Skarsgård? Like, would you be like... Well, I wouldn't know her because she has, like... I mean, again, you should go... Because she does Twitter. have crazy-ass white blonde uh, it's like, wig it's thing like happening. It's like my color. It's like my color oh, hair. Stop. Are you kidding you me? You see the pictures? No. Good Lord. Did we look at the same thing? I looked at the pictures. You read the words. Clearly, okay. if you have words about Alexander Skarsgård or pictures of Alexander Skarsgård. Oh, I'm looking at which her Which are you right going now? to choose to look at? I I'm would say, her right I now. You, I would say the pictures. Just me. Whoa, she does, she, well, she looks bizarre. <laughs> she does look bizarre. But but you can kind of see her face is, is the same. But I know, I would never, I wouldn't even know who she was. All right, anyway. Let's move anyway. on. Now, I'm, now, you know, Project Runway is starting tonight. Are you guys Project Runway fans? Because I like it. Although, i got to say I'm giving it one more season. Because last season, Jump Shark just ever so slightly with Gretchen winning. I'm not good. Mondo should have won. But anyway. Um, so what else, Carol? True Blood. Oh, my God. Okay. For, first of all, let me ask you your opinion. What do you think about Eric's... Um, Amnesiatic Eric? Yeah, I love him. I loved him when I read the book. First when I all, read... The, the season four, I mean, book four was the best one. I read it in a day, one day. I love him in book four. Oh so my God. when you watch it with somebody who's not, who hasn't read the books, like Tom's like, I don't know if I like this guy. I don't know if I like him like this. No, Eric... Amnesiatic Eric is just the best thing ever. I think it's a girl thing, too. I think it's a girl thing because we're all like, oh, Eric, he's so sweet now. Could be. But, like, yeah. seriously, <laughs> last week, I Eric think, when he, was, when he was in the lake. Did you make up Amnesiatic Eric? Did I make that name? Did you read that somewhere or did you make that up yourself? I think Jen D and I made it, made it up. Because that's, that's <laughs> almost as good as Tot Mom for Nancy Grace. <laughs> That oh, is good. Oh, we have... Okay. You know what? Like, uh, I mean, should we really go there? Should I don't care. To, all right. How do you mean you don't care? Did you, did you watch 7.30? Because uh, they don't have it anymore. I didn't Although watch they're it. Trying to, they're, trying, they're trying it. to milk it on Good Morning America a little bit. But, like, throughout the last weeks of the Casey Anthony trial, you could set your watch by it. 7.30 in the morning, Good Morning America, Nancy Grace, and Dan Abrams. And they would have, like, the Casey Anthony, like, you know, segment, the first thing, every every morning at 7.30. And I lived for that. Oh, my God. It was hilarious. George Stephanopoulos is like this. Why did I do this again? Why did I do this again? Why Why am I on the show? What? Money, 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 money. Like, why did I do this? Why did I do this again? Why am I on the show? What? Nancy Grace is like, Top Mom did it <laughs> And then Top Mom goes into the trial and does it. 
Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I really did not watch any of that. I just kept, you know, seeing headlines and stuff and seeing everybody fighting on Facebook. It was horrible. And I don't even want to get into any of that, but I'm sorry. Amnesiatic Eric is one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. So go you and go Gen D. And speaking of Gen D. But wait, I was going to say something. (laughs) Hold on to Gen D. The best moment of television. Um, I see. We have to go save Eric. I don't know where he is. Okay, it's okay. We'll go. Run, 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 run. There's Eric in the lake. It's like, Sucky, this is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Shirtless, whatever. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Before that, I think I missed, I messed up because before that, it was like, okay, Sucky, we'll go see it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like Jacob. <laughs> Don't you cut yourself? So then, so there's Eric. So, okay, so he changed into the dog, but not before you're like, Whoa. So then they find Eric in the lake and he's all hot. And then Alcide turns back into Alcide, except he's naked now. And you're just like, I don't even know where to look. Sookie. Big. <laughs> Big. Fish. Yeah. I know. I looked in the water. Um, I think I looked in the water, it's adorable. Too. But you know what? Also, when you read it's all the like books. It's like Sophie's Choice, though. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, seriously. But water when you read land, the book. Waterland. When you read the book, you have different people in your brain as, like, I saw Clive Owen when I was reading the book. So as much as that Joe, what's his name? Joe who? Joe Mangianello. Thank you. Is hot and everything. I was always so stuck on Clive Owen. Anyway, um, what do you think of Bill as the King? I'm liking Bill as the King. I think this is really good. It's a really good way to get, because, you know, all right, spoiler for those of you who haven't read the books. He's nothing. Bill, like, goes away. In, He's a big old zero. Bill is barely in three, and then, like, the rest of the series, he's, like, in and out. He does date Portia, actually, in four. Right, but um, she's kind of... But he's really not in the books that much. They're all told from Sookie's point of view, so she's not dating him anymore, so he's rarely around. So I le- I think that this was a really smart way to um, sort of get around his absence in the books and give him something to do. Um, right, and also, but it's changing the future completely because what about book seven? Like, well, for, what about book five? I mean, book five is all about the queen, and she's got she's dead. So, and honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a damn. Okay, but and you know what? That kind of bums me out because <laughs> I really one of my favorite book seven was the one with the um the convention, the vampire convention, wasn't it? Where Bill was, was selling, seven. Bill was selling like his his, no, his database. Yes, well, they don't database. Do that at all. And that was Bowling for Vampires. It's true. It's true. Anyway. anyway um, so what else? Um, Jason Stackhouse. Will he turn? Will he not? I think he will. You think so? Yeah. Uh, because I... I it's all leading up to that. They're all like, oh, you know, it's a full moon, full moon. Interesting, oh, interesting full way that they got you to hate her, too, isn't it? Because it's totally different in the book. You hate her in the book because she's a big old hoe. But in this, she's a big old hooker. <laughs> hooker. So in this, they got you to hate her because, you know, what she's doing to him now. Right, right. Well, I just think this season, for the first time, all of the storylines are good. There's still kind of a lot of them, but they're all interesting, except maybe the Tommy Mickens story. And I was going to say, you and I parents, totally... So like, Maybe Totes disagree. Give Sam a good storyline. Give Tr- Sam a good storyline. I love Tommy Mickens. Since the day he came on, every time he pops on the screen, I have to go, Tommy Mickens. That just, that's, t- for me, that's like the least interesting storyline. But everything else, I mean, Arlene is hilarious. That whole storyline. Um, Lafayette and Jesus, or whatever his name is. Oh, um, my God, Lafayette. Um, all of the storylines. I mean, like the past couple seasons, you know, you had Marianne, which was like, I mean, they finally gave, yeah. given Tara a backbone again. Yeah. Somewhat. We'll see where that goes. How but, did you like when Lafayette was like, girl, if you could just climb down off your crucifix for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Lafayette's just awesome. No, it's it's great. It's by far the best season since season one. That's what I think. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I think we're going to end this here. We are? Wait. Yeah. For, I know for, a couple other things we need to talk about. Our quick ass, awesome, we dod haircuts. Mine is not looking to... Hey, it's the Northeast in almost August, okay? This is as good as it gets. Yeah. 
I would say people will know. And you have Central Air. I don't have Central Air. I'm a big fan over here. Um, oh, blowing on me. See, Tracy, are you the last of the Mohicans? How do you not have Central Air? Because it would cost. I live in a house that was built in 1893, <laughs> and it would cost about twenty thousand dollars to put it in. Money that my husband would pay gladly. Somebody get my checkbook. <laughs> you think that's a problem? Somebody Forget about it. I would take out gladly. sick loan if I had to to pay that. And we have window units, so it's not like we're like, you know. Yeah, that's true. You know, pathetic or whatever. And I actually, we were at Home Depot the other day, and I said to him, why don't we get an air conditioner and you can put it in the first floor, like in the window, but like maybe it would cool off the whole first floor. And we had it in a cart. And I was like, it's your call, but I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear cl- complaining if you don't get it. And he didn't get it. So, whatever. What was I talking about? Oh, the we dyed haircuts. Um, if you guys, if anybody out there has curly hair and has access to a salon that does the we dyed cut, and that's um, O-U-I-D-A-D. I highly recommend it. I've been getting the we dyed cut for, like, five years. But the stylist, Karen, at um, Antonio Salon. In Livingston, New Jersey. Just did a kick-ass job, and it's, like, literally the best haircut I've ever had. Um, it just hangs really well, um, you know, with some product in it. It just, I mean, this is, like, no air conditioning, and it's hot today. Um, and Carol just had her first wee dot haircut. So I can't even remember what it was called, but it was in Little Silver. Um, and I think her name was Mary Jane. Mary Jean. <clears throat> so, yes, I would totally recommend those. Um, the other thing I had to tell, say that I was just so excited about is that um, I made the other day, I was like, okay, you know. Wait, I have to stop you. Hang on a minute. Because I really want to give them a shout out. Um, Salon Coco Bond in Little Silver, New Jersey. And um, do, do, do. her name is Mary Jean. And she's awesome. Keep going. Okay. Um, so, you know. All girls like a margarita from now from now and again. Would you not agree? And again and again and again. <laughs> but as you know, margaritas are very high in calories. And even those skinny girl margaritas, which are pretty good, they're decent. I don't know if you've seen them, they come in bottles. And one of the housewives. I don't watch the housewives, by the way, any of the housewives. There's a bet in I don't do housewives and I don't do bachelors. There and I don't go. do Jersey Shore. Yeah. I've been known to watch a Jersey Shore. Oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> I, I don't really uh, like it, but no. I've never I can't seen tell you how many people from down here love Jersey Shore. I've never seen a Shore. and I've never seen a Bachelor, and I never will. But I have to tell you something. It. When what? you live at the Jersey Shore, it is so insulting, number one, being half Italian, and, and these people are running around going, it's about being Italian. No, it's not. Well, it has nothing whatever. to do with being Italian. It has to be with, do with being classless. Didn't somebody on True Blood call Sucky Snooky? <laughs> <laughs> I think they did. I don't remember who did, but it was really funny. Anyway, anywho. So, yeah. So, I got to thinking, like, um, okay, could you make a margarita that was, like, a sugar-free margarita? Or maybe, like, a, like a no-sugar-added margarita? And I just been looking around the internet, and I made some. And they were so bloody good, it wasn't even funny. So I'm gonna try your recipe tomorrow. Did did I give it to you? Here's yes. what it is. Okay, Tracy, write it down. Gotta make this quick. Internet, gotta probably. go. I have three minutes. Okay, but basically it's one jigger of tequila, and that's pretty much the only calories in it. The tequila, two tablespoons of lime juice, freshly squeezed. It's better. One quarter cup of cold water. Um, one quarter teaspoon of orange extract, and. One tablespoon of, like, either, like, the Splenda that comes out of a box, you know, that you can bake with. Or you might be able to use, like, a couple packets of Splenda, whatever. Put it all in your shaker. Put ice in it. Shake it up. Pour it. It's so good. How many does that make? One. That that recipe was for one. If you got if you have, like, a margarita glass, like a traditional margarita glass, then, you know, just put ice in it and, and serve it over ice. It's so good. I will never, I will never buy a margarita mix, like, again. Wow, I'm going to try that. It's totally good. It's totally good. So I'll be um, quadrupling that. <laughs> well, I've just kept making batches. I made it the I made it I made it the other night, and then the next night I made it for a bunch of people, and I just kept making shakes. You know what? It. Though my problem is that like I'm thinking about who I'm gonna who's gonna be here, and I don't think they're gonna drink it because of the Splenda. Oh, get over it. I I I use Splenda. I like Splenda in my coffee, but. Um, some people just aren't into that. 
whatever. I don't do NutraSweet, but I do Splenda. I don't do NutraSweet either. I do Sweet and Low for co- for iced coffee, and I do Splenda for pretty, probably everything else. All right, what else? Anything else? Uh, I probably, but I have to go. About. So for now, we're going to end it here. I think it was pretty good. I think we talked about it. We covered. I think you're going to see a lot of True Blood. Were we funny? Um, mm, we'll see. Maybe we'll maybe we'll test this out on a couple people first. No, yeah, we'll just throw it up there, and people can say what they want or not. All right. Or whatever. All right. Anyway, but see we're this- like thinking about making this like a weekly thing because well, yeah. we really want to be famous now. <laughs> hey, well, we already said- are famous, baby. Because you know what we're going to do when we're famous? What? We went for hair back and forth. We went for hair back and forth. We went for hair back and forth. <laughs> yeah, we've done that already in videos. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, so that's it. Um, okay. My purgatory, is that, is that site up yet? The site's not up yet, and it's not going to be up for a little while. I'll have a page at some point, but right now we're having problems because this awesome fellow, Stephen, who is letting me have the URL, um gave it up but so far I'm not able to take it as my own yet so once I can I'll Does get some want up. anything in return uh no he's awesome he's awesome let me tell you right now that's good we, we sort of went in that direction and then and then I told him look I'm not, I don't make a dime from these blogs they're personal blogs I just and I said it's all right I'll find something else and he was like you know what go ahead and take it so he's what a sweet nice guy um oh god, god and I have to give him a plug I will give him a plug um he has an Etsy site that's awesome. I'm going to give him a plug as soon as there's a website up. <clears throat> okay. I, um, I've been playing around with um, um, Tumblr. I like started a Tumblr account for my under purgatory, and I have to play around more with that. So like until I like actually get that under control, we won't really do much with it. Do you, have you used Tumblr at all? Yeah. What is it? It's kind of like, it's kind of like, I don't really know. I haven't figured it out enough yet. It's more like, it's another type of blog, but you can do like you can. I think you can update it more easily from your phone. I don't know. I have to figure out the purpose of it. All right, I'll look but into in it. In the meantime, you know, friend us on Facebook or fan us on Facebook. You can like My Outlander Purgatory on Facebook. What are we gonna do? Are we eventually gonna have My Purgatory? I don't know. We have to figure that out. I might have to. I should make it like right now before anyone sees this video, and then we'll just at some point. See, that's what sucks is the whole consolidation thing, but I don't it's know. too. Well, well, we'll figure it out. We don't need to bore them with it. Um, okay. But, but you know, friend us on um, and follow us on Twitter. My Outlander Perg, just P U R G. Yeah, I'd like to go back in and change that at some point if we could. I don't know what it would be because we can't. You can't do My Outlander Purgatory or whatever. I don't know. My Outlander Perg. <laughs> All right. Anyway, see you All later. Right. All right, guys. Bye.